Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Grizz Down the Hunt with Psychic Medium, Angela Ford and Peter Mark. Hello, Gene. Hello, Crystal and Denise. Bye, uh, everybody's sliding in there. Gary's eating his T-bone with some hominy. I noticed. Isn't that nice? T-bone. Yeah. Why he's eating supper. He's got a side of fries there. So interesting, ain't that right, Chris? Hello there, Rosemary. Hello, how's everybody doing? So, Peter, uh, today I thought uh, for some reason I thought today was Sunday. Hey, well, Roger. If you want, we can turn back the clock and we can make it Sunday. But today, yeah, no, is, I'm good. Today is Monday. I've got to say something also, which I'm thrilled about. Every time I see another segment of Grizzly on the Hunt, your credits, your animation, everything is amazing. It, you're going, you're going, you're better than Hollywood now. Ah, oh, shucks, make me blush. Hello, Rita and Eric <laughs> and Dee. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition. Say, so, yeah, I make me blush on the air. And Judy, welcome to the show. So what we got lined up for today, Peter? Well, I wanted to do a short introduction. Um, since the inception of me joining uh, Grizzly on the Hunt with uh, Grizzly, you and Angela Ford, I've been watching your shows and one psychic amongst many really stood out in the, in the programs and the readings. And that was Kelly Jo Monahan, I believe is how you pronounce her last name. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hi, Lauren. Um, and I decided to ask Kelly Jo if she would be so wonderful as to join us on our segment. So Kelly Jo is our honored guest tonight. All right, Kelly Jo, come on down, welcome. Hi, hey, everybody. Thanks for having me. Well, welcome to the show. So introduce yourself to everybody who you are. I am a clairvoyant psychic medium. I do pets, lost objects, work on murder cases, medical wow. intuitive. I can do a little bit of everything. Medium shipping. Yeah, I saw it. I was just telling, telling Grizzly and the watching and listening audience, when I was looking at some of your past programs, I was repeating and repeating them. And I said to myself, I've got to get connected with this woman. She's multi-talented. Uh, she's incredible. She has a great presence with the public. And um, first I asked Ellen DeGeneres, and then I can't, I'm kidding around. Um, yes, I saw you and I said, gee, let's have this wonderful woman on the program. You're, you're incredible. You're magnificent at all of your gifts. Aww. And I wanted to share a program with you and 
really let the uh, the viewing audience know um, that we we all connect behind the scenes and we try to all work together and with missing uh, people and a mediumship and healing and uh, yeah I thought it would be a treat to, for you to come on and uh, to talk about yourself tonight is solely uh, for you in your honor so um, I know people from your other shows you've probably discussed your background but um, what type of cases do you work on what type of souls do you connect with i i connect to all the souls you know they connect to me whether i want to or not i can go on <laughs> vacation and they all come along forget going to a hospital like i've said on other shows they need to clean hospitals out because you can have layers of hospitals of, of spirits from 1800s up and they're all like am i dead am i dead am i dead am i dead yes you're very dead Come on outside with me and we'll clear you out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a funny story when you say that. A couple of weeks ago, I was in the hospital. I was rushed because my blood pressure was up. And I'm sitting in a seat and I am actually have spirits next to me that I'm talking to. And the woman that was sitting next to me on the left got up and she looked at me. She said, Man, dude, there's something wrong with you. You're talking to people that don't even exist there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, that's the way she wants to see it. So, yes, yeah, we do see them. We definitely do see them and we do hear them. But I, I love doing this work. I love helping people. I, I love working on the cold cases because it helps bring closure. Yes. You know, and hopefully it helps the spirit, you know, and the family. And it's fun to do general readings. I have clients that I've had for over 40 years, you know. Um, like I met another lady when I was younger, and I told her, I said, you're going to go to college, you're going to get your degree, you're going to work in education. And you're going to go to a place called the house. And it's like an attachment to the university in New York. And it's called the house. She thought I was a crazy person. But it all happened. <laughs> it all happened. Yeah. So do you agree that it is um, from the spirits? It's from heaven, whatever you want to call it. We channel this wisdom and this energy. Right. Yes. You know, it isn't us doing it. And I have no it need to be right. Like I tell people when I do a reading, they'll you have some people that go, no, 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 no. And I just giggle and laugh and say, no skin on my nose, you know. Like um, I have so many instances. I did a reading for a lady and I said she's going to move. She was going to live on a lake with loons. And then you know how the mist rises up in the morning and there's fog and she goes oh i would never do that yeah well a year or two later she calls me up she goes i live on a lake with loons <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it is funny if you connect with them after a year or a couple of years and they come on or they call you and they validate exactly the information that you have fed to them you know, I just giggle. It's just it's just fun to do that. I love describing houses. You know, I can get down to the wallpaper. Like if somebody's looking for a house, I can tell them what area to look in their area that they're looking in and how many rooms, the wallpaper, stairs, basement, all that. I love all that. I love um medium shipping when you can give somebody closure and tell them only only things that they know between them you know like i got to do a reading a couple of years ago and there was a little kid that had hit his head and died of a brain bleed and and oh, i was boy. talking to the dad and he and the little kid would always say i got shotgun 
<laughs> and then the, the father started crying because that's what he always said. And then they describe how they changed their room and all that, you know, so. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, um, I was going to ask you if you could give me any information about myself. I'm so used to giving out information. It's it, it's a, a, a pleasant change for somebody to be able to read for me. Sure. It'll be my pleasure. First of all, I want to let you know you have your grandfather with you on your mother's side. And he's been visiting you. And there's an anniversary coming up. Um, he's showing me red roses, so that's an anniversary. It can be a birthday, death day, um, celebration day. So he's been around you a lot, and he loves to hang out in the hallway. And then also on the right-hand side in your living room where you sit in your chair. Okay. I don't know what's over there that he's drawn to, but he's over there. Um, you're going to receive... An opportunity for business, actually three, one from a woman and two from men. And that's coming up all this year. Um, you are going to find your forever home the beginning of 2024. Oh. Am I staying here or am I moving? You're moving. I am moving. Okay. Okay. Am I going to be in the state that I'm in now? Or yes. I will be. You remain in the state, but you only go like maybe 50 to 60 miles northwest of where you are. North 50 or 60 miles. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm, do, you have yeah, mountains, do you have mountains yeah. where you live? We do have mountains in Connecticut, yes. Yeah, because I'm seeing the mountains in the background of where oh, you're there's, moving to. There's mountains you're in the You're sort of like in, you're like in a valley. I'm in a valley. All right. Yeah. The home is in an apartment? Yes. It's an apartment? Yes. Am I going to rent it or am I going to buy it? I see you buying it. You're buying it. Okay. But they, do they give you a town or anything like that? If they don't, that's okay. If you go 60 miles from where you are, yes, it's on the border there of, of where, of two, uh, what do I want to say? Two sectors of, you know, like townships. So it's where two townships meet. Am I making sense? Uh, two townships meet. Or county. County or okay. township. Okay. I, I'm i looking. I haven't found it yet. But I, I believe you. As soon as I do, I will let you know. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath, uh, like apartment, condo, slash and it's on the first floor it's not and you don't have stairs and i don't have stairs i'm ready to buy send me the pictures i'm ready to buy <laughs> it's beautiful it's all redone and it's all redone when oh, you have a lanai you can sit on it has a lanai yep a screened in porch it's a fancy word for a screened in porch okay well the it, it, when this happens, I will definitely let you know. So I'm going into a nice place. And you do have a corner apartment, so you have more light and windows. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Well, maybe they'll let me know. You know, I, I had a dream last night that I was moving up to northern northern part of uh, Connecticut. Because the prices where I am right now are super, super expensive. So my guides were saying, get prepared because you are going to be moving, uh, you know, out of where you are. And, uh, homes here, homes here start at about four hundred thousand, and they go up to millions. Oh no, no, oh, no, wow. no! You're going to be able to find something cheaper than that. And then the town that you have, 
pets is like Ma and Poppy. You know, like there's restaurants where you can sit inside or outside. There's coffee shops. There's like a freestanding um, hardware store, um, a mercantile place. There's oh wow, um, it's like it's really sweet and nice. There's it like a nice. diner, and the it's community, and then they have like a whole farmers market or open market in the streets on Saturdays and Sundays, and oh. it's. And people have co-ops here, and it's very lovely. Wow. So am I going to find this place through a realtor, or how am I going to find I it? I think you're going to go out bopping around in your car and run into it. And I'm going to run into it. Well, I'm sold. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. And um... Oh, and everything's walking distance. You have a nice grocery store too that that you can walk to if you want i see you walking everywhere you see me walking everywhere okay wow that's wonderful wow that sounds like a nice location yeah, it there peter like nice, yeah where i am now i also you were talking about two women well i'm going to tell you the two women are already here oh cool uh, two women and the man i believe is grizzly Okay. I I had two separate offer. One from a woman from CBS, uh, CBS station. I'm not going to go into a lot. And then I have also. Oh, there's also another man. There's a TV producer from LA that I did a mini reading for him, and he said we're definitely going to work together. So I believe it's it's two women and two men. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, well, you're going to, you're going to have to, when you're not working with Grizzly, you're going to have to be part of it. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> yeah. You and Grizzly. I mean, I decided wherever I go, I'm taking <laughs> the team with me. So it will be you. It will be Grizzly. It will be Angela. Um, yeah. They, my guys are telling me, I, I'm going places that I only thought about. And the woman that was on my podcast this past weekend, uh, she said to me, Peter, what you're telling me is absolutely incredible. And then I had another woman and I said, who identifies with Dolly and Fred? Nobody answered it. It was the woman from, C, uh, from CBS that connected there you go. She didn't want to tell me. So um, I, what I can say to you, Kelly Doe, I've seen your other programs. I've ha heard people say, God, you're dead on. You're amazing. That That's really how we connected. Thank you. It yes. isn't me. It's just a God-given gift, you know. It's a God-given gift, yes. But you do have signings of papers coming up, too. That means contracts. That means contract. Well, they were actually showing me me working with you. So I already know that's going to happen. My guy just said to me, you're going to be working with her. I really believe we're all, all of us here are going to be internationally known, even more so than we are now. I'm open to it. <laughs> yeah. The other thing they're talking to me about, my guy to telling me, you may not stay in Florida. They're saying the weather, the weather patterns and the climate heating, you may decide that you've had enough of Florida. Yeah, because of the hurricanes, probably. Probably because of the hurricanes, absolutely. Are you, uh, they keep on talking to me about having issues around energy. Have you been tired? Yep. All right. Are you finding it difficult at times getting up in the morning and doing the work that you have to do? I I can be half dead and give good readings. <laughs> <laughs> I knew half that. I knew she's going to say reading. that. I knew right. she's going to say Literally. that. Literally. 
<laughs> but but yeah, because the energy's been really wonky donkey. It's been wonky donkey. I just got a message. What you were talking about in the living room is my grandfather's picture. My grandfather's oh, okay. picture is hanging up. And it's funny because I get messages from my grandfather, my grandmother, and my mother and my father. Yeah, your mom and dad are holding hands. They're they're they like to hang out in the kitchen. And do you have a backyard? Yes. They hang out in the backyard a lot. Oh, they sit in the backyard? Yep. They always love the backyard. That was one of their So yeah. I'm seeing that, and your mom's giving you a kiss in the middle of your forehead. Oh, my mom's giving me a kiss? Yes. Oh. <laughs> is, she, is she happy with what I'm doing? Oh, she's totally thrilled. She's one of your biggest fans. She's one of my biggest fans. Wow, that's nice to know. Wow. In life, it was hard, but in afterlife, she knows better. So she she's happy where she is. Yes, totally. She picked the age of thirty. Oh, she 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 went back to being thirty. Yes, they picked their best age. Yes. When they felt their best, they loved life the best. That's the age they. Wow. Well, well, well. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to ask you? Do you pick up anything about relationships? Yes, be open because I see you meeting somebody that's a little bit older than you by four years. Um, initials R M R M. I don't know which direction it goes. I don't normally get initials and names, but and then it's any time now. But if you look at your chart. You'll find a square in wherever the Venus and the Jupiter and the, what is a South Node? I don't know. You listen to what I'm saying. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And they said that that's the timing extra to meet them. And But January 2024, in the second week of January, that's very important week for you to meet somebody. Okay. So the relationship that I'm, the, the person that I'm with now isn't going to be going anywhere. It stalled. It stalled. Okay. That's why I asked. That's exactly why I asked that question. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I, I know you're right. You know, things are happening now with me. And um, I am getting, and I don't know why, I'm actually looking at my guides here. My guides are talking to me about, this is coming from them. They're saying to me, they feel down the road, you may end up keeping and renting out your home and then you're going to be doing something up north. So you're going to be getting more money is going to be coming in. They just said, you may not sell the house. You may decide to rent it out. Huh? Yeah. But you and I are, they're, they're throwing these things at me um, with Grizzly's help. And I really think this is with Grizzly. We're going to create such a TV show, and it's in the process of happening, where we're, we're going to be written up in different journals, newspapers, magazines. Uh, they just said, my guides are telling me the show tonight is actually going to catapult us with our energy to the next level. Cool. <laughs> so that's what's happening with all that's what's happening right now with us. So we yeah, go ahead. Who is Barbara? 
Barbara. I know actually two Barbaras. Okay, the name Barbara just flew in my brain. That's an important name for you? It was. We're no longer in contact. It could be another Barbara. I don't know. Barbara is an important name for you. B Barbara. And then there is in the, during the holiday, and I, I know they normally don't do stuff during holiday, you have a plane flight. You have to fly somewhere. During the holidays, I have to fly, fly somewhere? Yeah. Do you know where I'm flying to? No, but I see you. It's an impromptu quickie quickie. Uh oh. Oh, okay. And this is during the holidays. Yes. Wow. Well, well, you know, funny you should say this because last week the two people I was with are both from Colorado. And they said to me during the holidays, why don't you fly out to Colorado? So I am thinking about going out. I have to know what's going on with my house first because I have to go to, uh, I have to go to court to get a little bit more time to stay here. But that's what I'm in the process, uh, process of doing. I also, um, it's funny because my guides are coming to me and they're talking to me about you're going to be making major changes after the holidays. Um, they're telling me something about another source of money coming in for you. They keep on showing me money and then they're showing me a friend and I, I'm not sure. Is there a Gary around you? Because they're talking to me about somebody's first name or middle name by Gary. You may know them already, but they're talking to me about a male coming in and they're going to want to connect with you in business. Cool. So, uh, see what happens with that. Um, they're also showing me. They're saying you and I are going to, uh, I'm getting excited now because they're telling me you and I and Grizzly the money is going to be pouring in. They just said the money is, and I'm not talking about a small sum of money. I'm talking about a lot of money. Wow. So I think our gravy boat is about to come in. So let me ask you this question. Um, in your past, well, at any time, um, have you worked with cases with um, law enforcement where you yes. give them information? Can you give the audience a little bit more information? Because I, I, the guys are saying to me for you to talk well, about. Yeah, go ahead. The first time I did it, I was working with another psychic when I was like 16 years old. And I worked on a case where they just handed me something, a, a bloody tile. And it was in Hyannis, Massachusetts. And they, a couple was hit by a hitman. He used a 38 special. He cut out a hole in the in the window to get in. He wore gloves. He hit the man in the living room, the woman in the kitchen. She was making a martini with a twist in the kitchen. And then they had a baby, but he didn't touch the baby. The man was laying on the, on the couch and the woman was in the kitchen. And then the hitman went and got a room and then they sent another hitman to hit the hitman. And then a dirty cop took $25,000 of the $50,000 that the people stole because the hit, that's why the hitman was sent to hit them. And then they caught the the policeman, the dirty cop, and we found the bridge and we found the 38 special with the silencer. They threw off the bridge and then the mob boss wanted to meet me and I quit working on it because I didn't need lead shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you meant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let because me he wanted to know who this Kelly Joe was. 
I can imagine. Let me tell you a quick story. You're talking about the mob, and that's amazing what you just said. I used to work with a world famous medium by the name she's passed, Janet Russell. And she took me out to Long Island to a place called LaGrange. And I did meetings out there, and I finally said to Janet, do you know who's coming to us? And she didn't think I would pick up on it. And she said, who do you think they are? I said, I don't think. I know. This is mob. So the girlfriends would show up in their mink stalls and their jewelry, and they would come in, and I would do readings, and then I would see guns and knives around them and I got the message to not work with these. And I'm not saying they're all like that, but um, yeah, it was it was scary for me. And you're right. When any time, you know, I read for about 20 wives and 20, 25 of the girlfriends, and I had to stop. I had to stop. And I was sad that I had to stop because I was working on another case where there was a guy that was like a double spy. And he it was spy. back when they used microfiche. And he would have plastic surgery before it was cool. And he would have another person do plastic surgery to look like him. And what he would do is he'd go on a case, he'd kill the double and leave him in like a jungle or something and leave him with a briefcase. And then he'd go have more plastic surgery and and then start again. And he was like James Bond. He had like a thing in his shoe. He had planes, trains, um, boats. Um, I called him Quicko Changeo. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I don't remember the names of all the detectives that I worked with. But yeah. That was really neat. I was always two days behind the dude. You would do <laughs> Wow. But wow, I remember this like yesterday, you know? And that yes. was when I was 16 years old. I mean. This is when you were 16? I'm, and, huh? How old were you? 16. You were 16. All right. Are you, are you, where did you get your gift from? Did you, was it? Given to you genetically, do you know? Yeah. It was. My, my mom was very aware, and great-grandma was a healer and herbalist. And my dad, he was really aware, and he could build anything. He could tell plumb. Like, he would build, um, like, um, trailers of people that they wanted it exactly the way they wanted it. They could draw it in the dirt and he could build it exactly like they told him how to build it. Wow. That's wow. impressive. And he could That's make, he was a welder and he could make cogs and gears and, and him and uncle Jigger was a, um, invention guy and he made his own sawmill. They made a, their own engine one time for the sawmill. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So you inherited your gift from them then? Yeah. My mom, basically, she would have dreams of stuff that was happening to people and she would manifest it in her bodies. So she asked God to take it away because, you know, like if they were shot, she would manifest being shot or there was yes. friends that were burned on a boat. She manifests burns all over her body. Oh yes. wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something at you. You don't want to answer it? That's fine. Right. My wife was just asking me this. Who do you think is gonna end up uh, being our next president? I see um, an offshoot person, and it it might be um, one of the runner-ups of, um, it could be a female. It could, you think it could be, oh, who is that? Is it, uh, what's the name? Oh, 
It's at the top of the tip of my head. Haley something. Um, I don't know, but I just, it could be a female. It could be a female. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Cause, uh, somebody had asked me the other day and I feel that somebody that is going through a lot of legal issues right now is going to get a lot, a lot of electoral votes, but I don't feel ultimately that they're going to end up, uh, in the White House without mentioning any names. Right. But uh, yeah. But um, yeah, and, and, and can you project, because I've been concentrating on this, do you, how do you feel with our society, politically, sociologically, do you see us coming out of, they don't want to label it a recession, they don't want to label it that we're going through inflation, but do you see us I think by the end of uh, 2025, we'll be doing a lot better. It'll get pretty icky in 2024, but 2025 will be coming out of it. We'll be coming out of it by 2025. Right. Yeah, if we can hold on to this. Right. Hold on to what I've got. And then I also see something occurring where it isn't so... Hostile. I felt more calm stuff down. Do you know what's that? Oh, Nikki Haley. Somebody, yes, thank you. Nikki Haley. And I don't that, know if it's her or not. I, I don't know. know. It's she's very well polished. She's very smart. She's very well versed. Uh, we need a good year, Crystal J. Yes, we do. We do. Um, you know, I, I, I wanted to also say to you, um, I'm being told this, the master guides, there's, I was told there's 144,000 master guides. The master guides right now are coming back. They're coming to the planet. And I don't know if you agree with this or not. If you don't, uh, I, I don't know. I haven't heard of it. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Um, what's happening now is aliens were being visited more by aliens and it's but not, we always have been. That's what I was going to say to you. We have always been visited by aliens. Uh, even the pyramids are a perfect example in Egypt, the pyramids of Giza, uh, the great pyramids, even in, uh, Mexico and they, they're coming back to prevent us from destroying ourselves and destroying the planet. Right. So do you pick that up? Yeah, they, they've they always been here. If you go look at the uh, petroglyphs and stuff, they there's all kinds of groups of alien beings that are here and the beings that watch over us, like I've always called them the watchers. The watchers. And they're the ones that watches over our civilization so we don't blow ourselves up again, you know, despite ourselves. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, I don't know why I'm being told this, but do you ever remember a time when you thought you were abducted? Oh, I've been abducted. All right. So they watch me. The guides just said to me, ask her about the abduction. All right. You know, and I've met two different kinds. I've met the angelics that talk and sing song. Like when I was a little kid, they crashed into our 80 acre farm in the field. My mom didn't remember, but my aunt did. And they yeah. talked sing song. They showed me events that would occur. Like they showed me 1991 war. They showed me that we'd have uh, different diseases and different, um, like we had the last three years, the plaguey thing. Um, and they showed different developments like um, nanotechnotics. They haven't done it yet, but they're going to. By robotics, yes. um, technologies, um, and they, they also show colonization of Mars wow. and people flying to Mars 
And People doing sorry. something about the moon, too. They're doing something about, well, as I understand it, someone just asked about the master guides. The master guides are coming back. Some of them are coming back as alien beings. That's that's what I was just told. Oh. Um, yes, the master guides are coming back. Because we have, during Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, we have on many different uh, uh, periods of history come very close to annihilating ourselves. And I do believe the guides are coming back to protect us. Now, somebody who also, the guides are telling me, we're reaching out to the moon, Mars, Jupiter, whatever. Um, we're reaching out also because we're, they're looking for minerals. They're also looking for gold deposits. We're supposedly running short on gold. We're supposedly, and I don't know if anybody knows about tanzanite, but where the guides are showing me tanzanite, they're showing me gold. We are also going to different planets because in order to prevent us from being annihilated. And right now, the government may not be telling us this, but I think we're running the risk with Vladimir Putin, Zelensky, the United States, we're running the risk of possibility of somebody pressing the button and starting a nuclear war. And that's why I think we're so, uh, right now, our relationships with China are very strained. Do you see anything like that happening? Or do you see the guy- We do, we do have to be very watchful and careful. We gotta watch that. We gotta watch uh, Russia, China, and, and uh, North Korea. They're all yes. jumping around and doing saber rattling. And, you know, they, they don't realize, hello, there's air currents. Hello, one place gets hit, it's going to go all over the place. It's going to go up. Well, like we witnessed with Chernobyl, who was right. that in Russia, eventually the radiation came over to the United States. Right. Same way when, they, when the tsunami happened. It all came on the Oregon and and all over that side. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, but I believe that with the prayers and and um, it's been negated many times. You know the the elimination of us. So I believe that with prayer and with intent, maybe we can, you know, and I always see the saffron robe monks praying i always see them sitting there all doing their prayers i always yes. see that every time yes now i am witnessing around you there uh, i'm seeing your guides behind you also but they're also saying to me you have lived on many planets you have come from many different dimensions you and I knew each other. We we go back hundreds of thousands of years. It's like connect, connecting with a part of my family. And they just said, you, I, and Grizzly and other people are going to be raising the spiritual consciousness of the world. Because right now, and I could be wrong, we're kind of at a pivotal uh part in history we where are if we don't change our way of living now then it's pretty uh, a gruesome picture here right we're on the pivotal point we're on the pivotal point so what do you feel and i'm going to ask you this question as a light worker as somebody that's very evolved as somebody that has gone through a lot with uh, with angels, and I'm being shown the angels. What do you feel? How do you feel that we can change things? Is it getting together collectively? What What are you picking up? How do we change? I feel through prayer, you know, and and intention. Intention, okay. And by intention, you mean what? Spreading light and higher vibratory rate so that 
it, it can speed up so it's not as dense. Okay. Okay. So do you, uh, you know, keep, keep on talking to me about the Bible and the Bible. Um, and then I hear about, you're familiar with uh, Michael Nostradamus. Are you yes. Familiar? Yes. Well, a lot of his prophecies have come true. How do you feel about him? I, I think he's totally accurate. I totally believe that he goes back and forth between the timeline continuum. That's yeah. what we do when we do readings. But like I tell people, if something happens, deal with it then. Don't worry about it till it happens. Right, don't worry you know, about it. Don't be fearful and all spazzed out. and Go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> okay. You seem pretty, you seem to have equanimity. You seem to be at peace. So um, uh, how can people, we live in a chaotic world. We live uncert with uncertainty. Even with yesterday, I think that it was, uh, who is it? Um, the votes, the speaker of the house there is a lot of confusion going on. We live with a lot of uncertainty with the Democrats, the Republicans. So um, is there something that we can collectively do, even with the government, to change the energy? I always ask for the highest good. You always ask for the no highest No matter what. Like, say somebody's getting ready to die and you're praying for them to be healed. They don't need to, they might not be need to be healed. They might need to pass on. Pray for their highest good. That's not nice. All right. So you don't always believe that the person is supposed to say here. Right. It, it's there. You don't ever inter, intervene in someone else's karma. Okay. Has it been difficult at times for you to say to people that this person, you don't believe that their, their trajectory and mission is to stay here, that they are men, it is their time and they're meant to transition? Well, I try to do it in a tactful way, but yes. I tell people, look, yes, they need to get their house in order. You know, it's, it's getting short. Their ember is low. <laughs> okay. You know, this person is going to pass on it you know, and, you know, be prepared. And be prepared. Now, a question that my guides were asking me to ask you, what is your concept, if I can be so uh, upfront, what is your concept of when we leave these corporeal physical bodies, what do you feel happens to us? I believe that our spirit goes on. It does. It isn't created or destroyed. It just changes form. It changes. You can't form. kill energy, right? And your your essence is the same no matter what. Okay. Do you, do you believe that we immediately meet God and go through a a lifetime review? Or yep. We do a lifetime review now. If you're all goofy and messed up and say you committed suicide, had a bad accident, been murdered, and something happened quickly. I call it going to the green room. And you go there to heal. The green and then room. You, you have your review and you decide what you want to do. So we can rest in the green room. We don't necessarily have to right. transition to heaven. Interesting. Okay. And um, we can take as long as we want then. Right, because it's always our choice. We're the only animal on earth that get, God gave free will to. Free will, yes. Exactly. An angel has to do God's will. Uh, an angel, you said, has to do God's will? Yes. Okay. And but we can go along and do a raspberry at it. Right, okay. So do you, um, on a, um, they're, they're talking to me about 
technology. Do you pick up anything when you connect with your guys? You mentioned earlier about changes with technology. Um, do you see us coming up? Oh, they, they, my guys are asking me this. Uh, it's presented to the two of us. If I feel that we're going to have another outbreak of the pandemic, uh, do you think that we have pretty much mastered the COVID and the variations and the mutations of the COVID and all of that? Or do you feel that we're, we're going to have to deal with this? Again? I think we'll have to deal with it. You do. All right. And you also, uh, this question is being asked to me also. With the COVID, I mean, with the, we have to call it pandemic, Peter. Oh, all right, the pandemic. Yeah. Sorry. All right, sorry. Um, with the pandemic, do you see any um, other uh, unfoldments from this? Any discoveries? Because somebody was saying to me, "Is it possible out of all of this, with all of the pharmaceutical companies?" that we could find a, a, a panacea for cancer or, yes. as, or Parkinson's disease. Yes. It's yeah. going to derive another medicine to help with the other things. They're even going to find something for Alzheimer's. They're going to also find something for Alzheimer's. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. That uh, it's some kind of... It, it, it'll be able to stop the chemical reaction in the brain that causes it to harden without damage to the brain. Without damage to the brain. Okay. But that's in the future. They got a lot of trial and error to do yet, but. They still have to trial and error. Okay. So um, the other thing, I'm going to ask you this question. Where have you achieved all the goals that you have wanted to no no all right what what other things would you like to achieve where, where do you see yourself going what is the path that you feel that you're on what would you like to see change or where would you like to see yourself in about a year or two years i'd love to be more financially fluid i'd love to be more well known i want to travel the world I haven't gotten to see Italy yet. I want to go see that. Oh, you, you want know? to see Italy? I'd love to see Paris. Oh, you'd love Paris. You, I, I've been to Paris, I think, twice. Yes. You know, I'd, I'd love to go see the Green Isle. Okay. And Scotland. I love bagpipes. I will follow bagpipes down the road forever. <laughs> <laughs> I gather you really like bagpipes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, so, and I, I, I choose to help people and I want to write a book, but I need help doing that. You know, well, with writing the book. Yeah. Well, I think Grizzly has connections. I know. Yes, I, I do. Absolutely. I have connections. In fact, I spoke to my editor earlier today. So when you're ready to do that, absolutely. I can, I can put you in touch with her. Cool, because I've been taping my remembrances on tape. Okay. All right. So well, I'll reach out to mine this evening then. Thank you. Yes. That's it. Nice I, I want to just have fun and live well and not have a lot of worry. You know what I mean? I just want to do my job, get paid well, and there you go. All right. So and when, have a TV show. I want a TV show. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go Ghostbusting all over the world. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, I believe very strongly that if we can think of it and we can think of it, project it, we can have it. And I think that is going to be the next step helping the general masses, um, making money. I try to give back to- Oh, I give back to- Philanthropic causes. I think that's all gonna happen. And they keep on saying tonight is the start of this all unfolding for us. 
Yes. So, um, do you have any questions, Grizzly? Uh, it's been wonderful, like always. It's it, very interesting to see two people with abilities read each other. It, it's 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 always a blessing, right? Because you never know what's going to come out of it. And right. to see, you don't know what's going to come out your mouth. No, it, it's yeah, not because it. the you know the first time Kelly Joe gave me a reading, I thought she was crazy. Uh, you know, so yeah. Oh, I never thought she was crazy. Yeah, I did. I was like, she don't know what she's talking about. I ain't, I ain't gonna be tap dancing, you know. I mean, I'm injured and hurt and broken and all that. And she's like, you know, no taps, taps, you know. But yes. uh, yeah, but it taps was interesting. The song on his, yes, he blows the horn. He and he plays taps. Yes, and oh, that's what I was talking about. Oh, okay, got it. Because I am, I'm actually seeing us. I'm seeing us on talk shows. I've been seeing this for a while. I'm seeing us on talk shows, and I'm seeing this there. I'm seeing books. Um, you know, somebody said to me, "Aren't you aiming pretty high?" And I said, "Why not? If I if I'm created by God, and we all are created by God, why shouldn't I aim for? If you want to call it for the universe." Um, and I see your books. I see you at book signing events, um, Kelly Joe. So yeah, you're you're gonna be. I see that with Grizzly. So this is another reason why I said, why don't we bring the show together tonight? I was hoping Angela would be able to join us, but obviously she isn't feeling uh, up to doing it. But yeah, um, these podcasts with Grizzly are absolutely amazing because I'm placing them all over the world. I mean, people are saying, Peter, I want to see them. I want to, you know, um, it's just going to, it's going to be like wildfire. It's, uh, the fire is going to start and it's going to, what I can, can call promulgating, it's going to become more, more wide, widespread. But the guys are also saying to me, if we can do shows together, Kelly Joe, if we can do shows together, maybe once a month or once every two months, it's going to ignite the energy. Absolutely. Yes. And I, I do see you traveling. I do see you traveling. And uh, you're going to see you with a grand smile on your face. And, I do see you you living in two different places, so you're gonna be you're gonna be traveling quite a bit. I love traveling. You love traveling. When when's the last time you were out of twenty thirteen? Twenty thirteen. Okay. Well, we've got to ch we've got to change that. We definitely have to change that. Um, but uh, I don't know if we, uh, well, tonight I wanted it to be Kelly Joe's night. Did you, <laughs> Thank you, yeah, did you want to do any readings? I know what we're, we're. Sure, about. I can do that. Um, I, I said time to time. Um, I All think right, so the, so the first one, La La Bright uh, popped up. I have a question. Well, Grizzly and I have a class appearance on a TV show. Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, start firing away because I know there were some questions in the, in the comments, but I'm so far behind oh, trying to keep Lava. track of them. And yeah, I was Lava, Lava, right. attention. I was talking. Yes. This was all about uh, Kelly Joe tonight. Absolutely. Uh, Lala, can you give us your date of birth? Lala, what's your date of birth there? Lala, woohoo, she says. Lala, date of birth, please. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, make sure include your date of birth. So, Lala, your date of birth, please. Rosemary, just include your question with your date of birth, please, and we'll get you right in there. Yeah, I tune into the dates of birth, and then my guides bring me to a higher level. August 4th of 81, all right? 
And uh, Crystal had a question too. Crystal, give me your question with your date of birth. All right, and I can answer some questions while he's figuring. Absolutely, go for it, my friend. So, what's your question, guy? Uh, she, I uh, see here. I think Jesse has one. Will I ever make it to Scotland? Ten five yes. nineteen seventy nine. In three years. Now, la la. I don't mean to interrupt. La la go is go. She is one powerful lady. This is one powerful lady. Um, I want to say I see TV and radio around her. Um, she is very intuitive, very, very intuitive and psychic. And they're showing me beauty around her. I don't know if she just loves art or she appreciates color, but I see a lot of beauty around her. And uh, there's a lot of emotional changes going on for her actually right now. She's quite intuitive. I don't know if she accepts it. Did you pick that up, uh, Kelly Joe? Yeah, and she's going to have like a show. Yeah, I pick up that there's going to be uh, a show here. The guides keep on saying something about, and I don't know why, she doesn't fit in with everybody else. She's very different. She's very different. She's very, she she <clears throat> does what she wants and she goes after it. So I do see TV and radio around her, yes. Yes, yes. But I see her picking the people that works with her because otherwise other people would clash with her. Not, I'm not being rude. I, that didn't come out right. She can get along with people, but she needs to have her own energies around her own energy. Otherwise, other people will clash with her and it won't work. There we go. I'm a firm believer in that. Very All well right. stated. Next one up on on the uh, in line is Joanne Stewart. Anything in general for me, August 11th, 1962. Well, Joanne where are you going? Stewart. You got a uh, vacation coming up for you. So. so that's coming up. And then you got love coming for you. Oh, everybody's readings are jumbling up. There's somebody that asked about a son. The sun's going to straighten up in four years, but you got to be really patient with him because he goofs up every once in a while. But he, in four years, is going to straighten up and he's going to have a better life. And I also see him learning a new trade like being a journeyman. I don't know who I'm talking to. So who is it that asked about the sun? I have no idea. Uh, I got it, so many that popped up. Oh, uh, Joanne, actually, was that Joanne that I just saw? Joanne name? Stewart, August 11th, 1962. Right. Joanne is a master number. I hope she realizes that. A master number means that you were brought in with a lot of energy, a lot of creative energy. You're supposed to use that energy very, very wisely. Um I feel at times you get bored. Oh, they just said to me, I don't know why, they just said to me, I read, I think, for Joanne. Um, she is a very, she's a very intense woman. Uh, I see money around her. There is an inherent, they just said inheritance. And they're talking to me about somebody leaving her money that's what they just said to me somebody's going to be leaving her money and she she uh, they're saying to me she's got to watch her diet uh she's coming out of a lot they just said to me she's coming out of a lot and don't allow a a, a relationship or somebody around you is kind of pulling you down you've got to bring them up don't go come down to where they are You've got to bring them up. That's what the guy just said. So I hope that helps. I do hope that helps. All right. Next one, Nicole Duggan, uh, 517-1983. What uh, job do you think I'll pursue? What industry do you think I'll pursue as a job? Administration. You're good admin. Oh, wow. 
and it look it feels like a it's an organization and it's like um huge so and you'll help with the um you're really good with people so i see you doing something with um human re relations yeah i i tend to agree with you i think she needs something where she doesn't get bored the guys are saying to me at times she gets bored she needs to be challenged what i want to say to you she needs a good education i'm being shown here um several areas i'm being shown areas possibly teaching education they're showing me property and i'm not sure why they're showing me property but i feel as if eventually she's going to either buy property and sell property something is around property with her and making money maybe she's buying something or selling something but she's very highly intelligent you've got to challenge yourself you really have to challenge yourself because um uh, they're telling me they're showing money money around you and they're saying focus on one or two things that you like and go for it that's the message that i just got yeah right. getting, she might get into house flipping house flipping. Wow. exactly exactly yeah will my youngest daughter have yes yeah, she will she'll have do twins run in the family because there's twins in the wood pile somewhere Nail the 111160, Peter, 111160. 1960. All right, here's another one. I'm setting up the chart. That's why I'm looking over here. All right, you are, you're a, wow, you're a master vibration. Uh, a master vibration, God love you. You're an old soul. You've been here so many times. You could be teaching spirituality uh, on, on a master level. You're very intuitive. They keep on talking to me. You haven't had it so easy. You haven't had an easy life. And they're talking to me about issues around the mom or the dad. So they just said to me, the family, uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm getting this, but I have a feeling that somebody... Uh, growing up did not allow you to have the easiest life, but you're going to do very well. That's what they just said to me. Now, here's another master guy, another master. All the 11s are coming up. Do you notice that? Uh, yeah, flavor of. The what? It's the flavor of. You have yes. like a continuous flavor, energetics. Energetically. Yeah, but my guides just said to me, they're coming on tonight. Right. Because they're going to help elevate the energy. That's why they're coming on tonight. They're being called to a higher level to find out where their life path and what they're supposed to do. And believe it or not, uh, Kelly Jell, I think some of these people we're going to end up working with in the future. Yep. That's the we'll have like a coalition or a yes, a, you know, group of us that'll all work in sync. We're all gonna. I think we're all gonna have. Uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna have a panel. I saw that as soon as I started working with Grizzly, I saw a whole panel with these elevated souls coming on and giving positive inspiring uh news and messages to the world that's where we're heading yep so crystal you're there too yeah you, you got a lot of talents here use them i had a talk about the only thing going to the planet before the c word hit yeah before the pandemic hit she wanted to know what it was uh it was she had her radio. Guide. it's her guides yes Yes, it was her guides. And Charles Rudd. Uh, well, I need to make it to Sedona, Arizona, 12 3 1953. Yes, you're going to go and you're going to go um, to the different vortices. And you're going to really love it there. You might even end up living in the outskirts. 
The desert is your friend. Good You're very, very psychic yourself. You need to trust that. Yeah, that's what I, 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 people that are calling in tonight are highly intuitive. Um, he is very, very intuitive. He's also, there's a strong connection with, they're talking to me about family, uh, connecting with the family. Um, I am feeling uh, a lot, he's great with communication. Wonderful, wonderful with communication. And uh, they're showing me a lot of things unfolding for him uh, now. He loves to socialize. He loves to be around people. Uh, go for it. Go for it. But your family does mean everything to you. Very strong connection. And if there's any problems with the they're saying to straighten them out before it's too late. War criminal. How will my next investigation go at Land Between the Lakes? 8-2-1974. Oh, August 2nd, 1974. All kinds of... Uh, you're, very, you're a medium yourself. and You're going to have all kinds of spirits come and show themselves. And physical form, uh, knocking things over. You're going to get voices. You're going to get whole conversations not just words when wow, you do a recorder and you're going to be able to get a, a whole apparition on film um you have it multitudes of spirits you have portals here there's a portal because of the lake that you have like three portals at this location um and you'll be able to have good TV, you know, good, you know, video, and you put it up. So that's what I'm seeing. But you have to bring extra batteries because they're going to drain all your batteries. The energy is going to drain the batteries. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying to me, everything will go well. I don't know. They're, they're showing me around him, I don't know why, they're showing me documentary films or they're, they're showing me producer documentary films, uh, TV, TV and all that. That's all going to be, and it's going to be, uh, they just showed me the Discovery Channel, so I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up doing this on the Discovery. And your guides are with you right now. They just said, let them know they're with him right now. Yes. That's interesting, War Crown. We'll see. Rosemary, uh, April 6, 47. April 6, 47. When will Robert move back to Ohio? When will Robert move back to Ohio? If he doesn't do it by the end of this year, by February, March of 2024. What do you get? Peter. I'm getting the same thing. I'm getting the same thing. Yes. They're saying patience. They just said patience. There's lessons to be learned from the separation with this relationship. That's what they just said to me. All right. We'll take a couple of more. Uh, Judy, expecting, expecting my 10th grandchild in April. You think it's a boy or girl? October 3rd, 1962. We have a 50-50 chance of getting it right or wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. It feels like I I know what I feel. What do you feel, Peter? Oh, if it's going to be a male or female? Yeah. Boy or girl? I don't know why I'm feeling a girl. Me too. A little pink. Yes, they just said a little girl. Yeah. All right. So expecting a little girl there and keep us posted on there. Standing yes. stones. Uh, anything in general for me, 12, 17, 1955. Same year on board. 12, 17, 1955. Well, is, is, is he writing a book? And I see a speaking engagement. 
And I know this sounds weird. Have you ever thought of doing a TED Talk? Of doing Are you a- doing TikToks at night there? Oh, TikToks. Standing stones. Are you doing TikToks behind my back and no, not telling Grizzly? No, TED Talk. T-E-D. Oh, TED- oh, I know huh. what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. I got it's all excited. It's a big to do. It's it's famous people get on there and it's a TED Talk. T-E-D. Look it up. Google it. I thought it was TikTok. No. Standing Stone, they're showing me something here about there were a lot of changes they're saying over the past three or four years. Um, I'm feeling a very old, old, old soul here. Uh, I don't know. Does he work in the paranormal area? Because they're showing me guides around him. And they're showing me he's got an energy force here that is very, very strong here. I feel a shift with him and uh, with, I'm not even sure is he working right now because they keep on saying something. He's got to watch his health. They just watch his health. So, and they're pointing to the health and they're saying to me, He's got to take better care of the body. They keep on showing me the body. What are you picking up, Kelly Joe? Me too, but also he's going to have an offer from an old friend that he trusts business-wise, and they'll do it together. But he, do does it together. Need to, he does need to um, watch his health, but it he might have an oopsie, but it's recoverable, so just be aware of that. And and then he'll feel better than he was in a long time because he needs a good checkup. He needs a good checkup. Yeah. Yeah. But he, he's going to do well. Uh, there, I don't know why they're showing me something around either writing or creation here, but they're, they're saying to me, you're a very evolved soul. And right now you're going through energy changes and you're, you're, you're pretty much coming into your own. And they keep showing me walking is good for you. Yes. Yes. Yep. Take a walk on the wild side. Do 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 when you have the gifts and you're brought in with them, you need to share them with society on a multitude of levels. On helping, you know, positive manifestation. We are all the creators of our own manif- our unfoldment and our own lives. So I, I believe that strongly. And that's what I'm, you know, I'm doing work on that now. So for me, anything for this old guy. Okay. Um, yeah. Do we, do we just, we just do, read him. All right. So with him. two yeah. more. Okay. We got two more right here. And okay. uh, let me, I've got a, I'm going to, yeah. Uh, and yeah. we're, and we're going to wrap up here, ladies yes. and gentlemen. I, I, let me, let me find my spot here. And, uh, Penny Van right here. Penny Van. Do you see anything about me? 7-Eleven, 1964, 7-Eleven. 1964 have to um be more open um and allow and you have you're at the end of a eight-year cycle and going to a whole new eight-year cycle and that isn't numerology or anything it's just the thing i get and then at your major um word is forgiveness and allowing those are the two words for next year Um, again, another master vibration, Penny, you're in this life to work out a lot of things from the past. Um, I want to say to you, your energy may be extremely high to the point that you may not know how to relax. Uh, you're very gifted. I, um, want to say to you, they're showing me something around the health area 
it's either you're attracted to the health area or they keep on showing me uh, health issues. So they're, they're showing me health issues and also the health area. You're here to teach. You're here to teach and you're sh here to show people how and the way the universe works. You're very strong willed. You're very strong willed. And the guides are saying to me, let go, let go. Everything is going to start unfolding for you. But you are extremely nurturing. And boy, are you intuitive and psychic. You got the ability. Work with it. Work with it. All Ooh. right. And then the last one Eric Thompson, 11 19. 1971, 11, 19, 1971, anything for him. Is he working on a patent? <gasps> I see patent papers. Eric, and what are you doing? So you, you need to get your patent done. Okay. And then um, I'm seeing Tinker. He's a tinkerer. And he's the one that does that. Your yes, yes. Um, is he a ghost hunter too? Is he a Are ghost you, hunter too? Eric, do you ghost hunt? Or do you investigate? He's laughing. I don't know why he laughs. I don't know why he yes. laughs either. Because he's, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. He's, he's looking at his wife laughing as he's trying to type. He's yeah. going to, he's connected to a dimension right now. He may not be aware of it, but he's connected to a higher frequency than a lot of people. He's got to use it wisely because he is going to end up discovering something. Uh, it's going to be within about two years, but he's got to be a little bit more stable about it. The guys are also saying to me, health, watch health. Not that there's anything so much wrong with him. If he doesn't take care of himself, there's going to be health issues here. But I don't know why I'm picking up somebody that has good, uh, they're showing me business and they're showing me uh, he invents. He's creative, he invents, but he's got to... Uh, organize. They're saying he's got to do better with the organizing and bring it together. And if his wife can help him out, he can bring this to fruition. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now the ones that we didn't get to tonight, don't forget Kelly Joe will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Come back. We'll get you in there. Tonight was about Kelly Joe. I'm glad that Absolutely. you all got to see Kelly and Peter Marks together. That was amazing. <laughs> Round of applause. Thank you. It was amazing to see both of them together. So yeah, it was fun. It was fun. We have to so, do this again. But, we have uh, to do and, this again. You and I are going places with Grizzly. We are going places. But yes, <laughs> Nana. Bounce Nana off. Kim, I'll get you in line. Yeah. You'll be the first one tomorrow. Nana Kim will get you in line. So I haven't forgot about you and a few others. But from uh, coast to coast and around the world, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. We'll Thank catch you, you on the next show. Me. All right. Thanks take care. Thanks for coming on, right. Kelly Joe. Thank I love you for having me. Bye bye. All right. take, take care. <laughs>